This tutorial will walk you through the simple way to create a Polaroid style frame with PaintShop Pro from any photo you have. The Polaroid type of instant photography was popular in the 70s. The photos were easily identified by their unique white frame. You can always recreate this frame with any current photo of yours. First, open your image in PaintShop Pro and make sure that the Edit workspace is active. In this example, I have a recent photo taken during a family vacation. Although this photo is recent, we can make it look like it was taken using a Polaroid camera. First of all, let's make sure we are not working on the original. So we will go to Window, Duplicate, or Shift-D as a shortcut, and we can close our original. It is always a good idea to work on a duplicate in case you need your original for another project. If your photo is very large, you might want to resize it so you can use it inside another project. I resized mine to 400 by 300 pixels. Now it is time to add the Polaroid border. You will first go to Image, Add Border. If you are working with a raster layer, you will get this warning message. This is because the Add Borders command can only be applied to a background layer. So if you get this warning, simply click OK and continue. First, you want to make sure to uncheck the symmetric checkbox here. Typically, a Polaroid frame will be about 1 12th to 1 15th of the width of the image. Since my photo is 400 pixels wide, I will set the top and the side borders to 25 pixels. For the bottom border, it is often about 3 or 4 times the width of the other borders. So we can set it to 75. The color of the border is usually white. If it's not white in this swatch, simply right click on the swatch and grab the white color and you click OK. Now to give the impression of thickness, since those photos were fairly thick, we can add a small inner bevel with effects, 3D effects, inner bevel, and I'll be using the round bevel with a width of 2, a depth of 2, and no smoothness. The other settings will be left by default. Now you have a typical Polaroid frame. You now have some room to add text if you want. Finally, you can create a desktop to display several Polaroid photos of your last vacation or family gathering. To save time and effort, I have also created a script that will help you do this with a click of a button, like this. And it's done. And if the Polaroid frame isn't the look that you're going for, I have also created several other photo border scripts. This one will create a border around your photo. And this one will allow you to create a word frame around your photo which is great for labeling a special moment or using in a scrapbook project. You prefer a round frame? No problem! There's a script for that too! All of the scripts I just showed you are available through the links under this video or at the Discovery Center Learning Store at learn.corel.com. Have fun!